this is the only country that's always meddling in other people's business and other people's affairs and other people's right. countries, right. telling them how to live. Because they, they think that they've been so successful at taming the so-called Negro, Latino, and the Native American that they can do it to the entire earth now. And if you ask, if you ask any so-called Negro man, Latino man, or Native American man with two brain cells to rub together, they do not like the way that America has changed the culture of our people. They, uh, no black man likes a matriarchal society where you have to bow down to a woman in the courtroom. Right. Nobody likes that. No, no, no man with two brain cells to rub together. Go ahead. Who in large of his desire is hell. And everywhere the so-called white man goes. Right. Everywhere he goes, he creates hell. Right. What follows him? Homosexuality. Right. They tell you that they're going to uh, liberate the women in the Middle East, but 80% of the women in their own military get raped every right. day, man. And they can't even report it. So America is a hypocrite. You're going to liberate women from being raped, but yet your own military women are being raped and you're doing nothing about it. Matter of fact, they're giving them dishonorable discharges if they speak out about it. You think they're gonna demote the men? No, they're not, 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 for, not for a skirt. They're not gonna do it. So you women are being used as pawns. And y'all are all for it, for what? For benefits. Go ahead. And it is death and cannot be satisfied. And nobody can ever satisfy America or the so-called white men. It's never enough for you. Go ahead. Well, he gathered unto himself all nations. He gathered what? He gathered unto him all nations. He never stops conquering people. He conquered the Negroes. Right. He conquered the Latinos. He came over here and stole America from the Native Americans. Now he's over there trying to steal the Middle East from the Arabs. What, when is the white man going to ever stop? According to the Bible, he ain't going to stop until the Lord puts an end to his mess. That's who's going to do it because nobody else has the power to stop him. He's operating under the blessing that the Heavenly Father gave him, which is the sword, his military might, his technological advances keep him far superior than any other nation. And all those, all those gadgets he has, that's all given to him by inspiration of the Heavenly Father. Why? So to fulfill prophecy. That's going to be used against him. Right. That, that's in Isaiah. Go ahead. And he unto him all people. Shall not these, shall not all these take up a parable against him? And a taunting proverb against him? He's talking about all the nations. All the ones that were down, that were so-called down with him, they're gonna take up a, a, a haunting proverb and a parable against him. And what are they gonna say? Woe to him that increased with that which is not his. They're gonna say we had enough of this. They're gonna say, wait a minute. This is, this is, this is not right. I don't need your money it's no more, America. Keep your money. I don't need your favors no more, America. I'm tired of seeing what you're doing to our people and other people around the earth. As a matter of fact, if you've been watching, the, the so-called UN, the United Nations, has made some type of uh, response on the behalf of the so-called Negroes here in America, saying that America owes the Negro people reparations. This came from the UN. I know, uh, and it's crazy. Hey, the brother said that, man. Cause I was watching the video about like some weeks ago. Man, the United Nations out there raping the little black boys, man. Right. Out there raping them little boys, man. Uh, and spreading disease. And, and then what, what, what they had doing? They, they make them have sex with goats too. Make them have sex with goats, man. Right. So right. What make you think they're gonna try to come and try to say something to America about about our people, man? Right, because America's a hypocrite. They say one thing on one hand and they do another on the other. They tell you that we're coming to liberate and they're actually coming to enslave. It's just it's, it's like a sleight of the hand. Like those guys that like, come out here and do the, right. the trick with the ball and take them, steal everybody money. That's right. America, man. The, what the Native American man say? White man speak with forked tongue. You can't trust nothing that he says. Go ahead. How long? And to him that lay himself with thick clay. How long? How long will this place continue in wickedness? The whole world is tired of America now. The so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American, man, we've been tired of this place. That's right. But we have to wait on the Lord. Like the Lord said, wait ye upon me. Because we have no might to do anything. 
If we did, we would have been told this place up. But we're not stupid. We realize we have no might. All we can do is preach the gospel and go home and live out our captivity to the Heavenly Father, send His Son to come and redeem us. That's all we can do. And that's all you better do. Go ahead. Shall thou not rise up suddenly? Or shall not shall bite thee and awake? Hey. That shall vex thee? That's the most high. He says, shall I not rise up suddenly and put an end to this madness that you that you think that you're gonna continue in forever? You will not continue doing wickedness forever. All right, go ahead. It's Jeremiah 25, verse 15. For thus says the Lord God of Israel unto me, take the wine cup of this fury at my hand and cause all the nations to whom I send thee to drink it. Right, and who is this? This is our Lord giving us specific instructions on what we're supposed to be commanding the other nations. This is your judgment coming. Go ahead. And they shall drink and be moved. You're gonna drink this cup. You don't say you're not gonna drink. You're gonna drink it. Just like, hey, matter of fact, the most high, you're gonna drink it and be waterboarded with it. Go ahead. And be mad because the sword that I was seeing among them then took out the cup at the Lord's hand and made all the nations to drink unto whom the Lord has sent you. And that, and that, uh, that, that, that cup, man, that's the same thing that they've been putting on our people, man. You know what I'm saying? That cup gonna go back on them. Double fold, man, right? like, the, like the brother said. Well, like the scripture said. <laughs> right. right. But I was really getting at the analogy that the brother said, man, with the water boys, man. They gonna, it's gonna be so heavy, man, they just gonna drown in it. Um, all right, go ahead. It's uh, Ezekiel chapter 38. Started from the little bottom of verse 4. It says, And all thy army, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords, Persia, Ethiopia, in Libya that's Iran. with them. Yeah, Persia is Ethiopia. That's why it's still called, I'm sorry, Persia is Iran. That's right. why it's still called the Persian Gulf right underneath the country of Iran. And they're already getting ready for war. They've made many threats to America. They've made many threats to Israel. Right. These people are not playing. They don't, they don't make idle threats. They're not like the so-called Negro man. We don't have any military. We don't, right. Yeah, we don't, I mean, Salaki, we do have a we military. Right. Right, like, like in Elijah, when he told his, uh, his protege, Elisha, he said, they're more, they're more with us than they are surrounding the city. And he asked the Lord to open his eyes and see him. Well, by faith, we already see him. But right now, it's not time for our military to act right now. Right. Because we have the greatest military, and that's the Lord and his angels. Right. Nobody can defeat them. And, and, and the Heavenly Father is the Lord of hosts, meaning the Lord of armies. You don't know that that word host when you look it up in the in the Hebrew, it means the Lord of the war, the Lord of armies. All of them with shields and helmets. Right. Gomar and all his bands, the house of Tugamar of the North Quarters and all his bands, and many people with thee. Right. It's gonna be a massive war. As a matter of fact. Not only after Russia implemented the, the drill where they had 40 million of their citizens to go into the underground bunkers, they also they also issued a draft. I believe it was uh, over 100. Oh, it was over 100,000. I don't remember the exact number, but over 100,000 people were drafted into their military for some form of civil service or not. They're preparing for war. They had a huge draft the year before. This is this is not a game. Hey, like they like to say, this is not a drill. It's about to go down. You need to repent and get your life together. Quit living after the fruits of the world and live after the fruits of the spirit. Because if you don't, you're not going to make it. You're not. Money is not going to save you. Riches will not help you in that day. Your popularity is not going to help you in that day. By how many followers on, on Facebook you got, that's not going to help you in that day. The only thing that's going to help you is your how by your how shot, man. That's it. That's right. And you don't have, you know, if you don't have the son, you have not the father. All right, come on. Is a quick uh, uh, Revelation chapter nine, verse twelve. 
One woe is past, and behold, there come two, two more. Slide. One woe is past, and behold, there come two woes more hereafter. Right, and those woes refer to as destruction, hard time. Also, another answer them would be, I'm sorry, synonym would be world war. World War One has passed. World War Two has passed, and now the third won't come as quickly. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <girl. sir. laughs> Revelation chapter eleven, verse fourteen. The second woe is passed, and behold, the third woe come quickly. What about the fourth woe? Verse fifteen. And the seventh angel found it, and there was. Oh, it don't say it. There's no fourth <laughs> woe. There's no fourth woe. There's no. There's no fourth world war. This is the third and final war. And that's it. There will, there will be peace on earth after that. Why? Because the trees are going to rejoice that no failure has come upon us. When the so-called white man goes down, the whole earth will be in. We don't get this river. Oh, uh, Malachi. So he got it. Oh, boy. Turned off from my mouth. You think it's in one? Edom said we're impoverished, but we will reveal. Yeah, that's Okay, you got it. Uh, Malachi chapter 1. 1. Burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, said the Lord. Yet ye say, wherein has thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, said the Lord? Yet I, yet I loved Jacob, and I hated Esau, and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the, wild, I mean, for the wilderness. Whereas Edom said, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Right. The most I, yeah, you're going to cry out. And you, you've done it already. You cried out and said, we are impoverished. But we will rebuild, and you have rebuilt. The Roman Empire, this, we live in the, the revision of the Roman Empire to this day. We go to the court of law downtown, they're reading to you laws written in Latin. This is the Roman law. You look around, they have Roman numerals. This is Rome all over again. Uh, look pillars. At, look, yeah. Roman pillars. Right, that's symbolic of Rome. That, this is just a modern Rome. Read that again from the top. I'm sorry, I was looking for a scripture. Where is the scripture? two. Verse two, Malachi one and two. I have loved you, said the Lord. Yet you say, wherein, wherein has thou loved us? Right, and that's, and that's the that's the average response you get from our people, the native, the Native Americans, the so-called Latinos, and so-called Negro men. They ask, they say, where has God loved us? Look, we live in the ghettos. We, we're the last hired on the job. We're the first five. We don't have control over our families. Our, we, we, our women put us on child support. You know, we don't have, we don't get no respect. Just the other day, I was uh, going, to, going to pick up an order in my work van, and, a, and a, it, was, it was a Hispanic lady in front of us in the, in the, in the car. They told you about it, right? And, uh, she, the light turned green, she didn't go. It was both cars, actually. So I just tapped the horn through. And the other car went, and the lady in front of me, she stayed there. So I thought maybe her car broke down. So I went to go around. As soon as I, she saw me going around, she punched it. And I was already, I was in the oncoming lane. So I couldn't play. I, I punched it, too. And went out and went in front of her. Next thing you know, she fly in front of me. And I said, OK, let her go. And I slowed back down. She slowed down. I slowed down some more. She slowed down some more. Then she started blocking both lanes. So I'm like, hold up. So I just said, okay, let, let her go, let her go, let her go. Then uh, I act like I was gonna keep straight. Turn, the turn lane to the left turned green. So as soon as it turned green, I tried to hurry up and sneak over. She hurt, hurt, whipped the wheel, got over in front of me to keep me from going. So I just, and she stopped. So I went around her. She pushed to try to keep me from going around. I said, man, this lady crazy. Yeah. yeah. She called a number on the van. Trying to report me, get me fired. And, 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 and then, then the girl to answer the phone, she said, oh, she sounded like she, she was nice. She was being very polite. She was playing the victim. 
playing the victim, but yeah. she was, she, uh, how you say, and, uh, she caused the 